Hello. I want to say a little bit today about becoming magnetic to the opposite sex and anyone, in fact, through our expectations. And expectations are quite powerful because when our expectations are in alignment with our faith, uh, then the two tend to create our world, really, our reality. Our expectations then are generally based on what we believe is going to happen. And so if we believe, for instance, that we're going to have an amazing life and that we're going to be happy and that we have those feelings and that energy within us and that expectation, that generally becomes our reality and that is what we will experience. So what we magnetise, as it were, or attract into our life is very much to do with our expectations. And uh, those expectations are also often based on our own belief system about ourselves and about the world as well. And so when we're looking at our expectations, it's quite a good idea to have a look at our beliefs and what we truly believe that we deserve are who we are and our position in the world. So expectations means that we expect, either consciously or subconsciously, what is going to happen. And that generally uh, is what manifests and shows up in our lives. So examining our expectations as far as what we are attracting or what we want to attract or what we have attracted is quite useful if we want to consciously create our world and our reality and the relationships and the types of situations that we are wanting to engage in in the future and our expectations when we look at them a little bit close, closer, are actually quite powerful feelings because when we expect something to happen very strongly, that generally does happen because that is an energy that we have within us that we are creating through our belief in what is going to happen. And interestingly enough, our expectations can be subconscious as well. So consciously we may think that we expect one thing, but subconsciously, because our beliefs may be hidden to us, we may actually expect something else to happen and those subconscious beliefs are the ones that are authentic for us but we can always change those beliefs of course and we can work through those issues that those beliefs are based on so that we can clear them out and then we can have authentic expectations as far as our life is concerned and ourselves are concerned and what we attract into our lives. And so we can consciously attract and we can consciously manifest the reality that we want to move into based on our authentic beliefs and expectations within here so that we do not live our lives as far as well whatever turns up turns up sort of feelings anymore we 
consciously decide what we want to create. We consciously create our expectations based on what we really want to turn up in our reality. Because at the end of the day, we're in charge of our own consciousness and what we do with that. And what we do with that is very important. Um, on some level, our expectations will, will either raise the bar or lower the bar uh, as far as what actually turns up in our life is concerned. So, for instance, if we, um, if we want casuality to turn up in our relationships, then that's generally what will show up in our lives because if we have a belief that we're only worthy of casual relationships, then that's probably uh, is what is going to turn up. And, and then we may wonder, I wonder why that keeps turning up. Because when we have high self-esteem and high self-worth, we tend not to desire those types of things that are going to be lowering the bar for us and uh, are really sort of not worthy of us. And so we tend then to have higher expectations as far as what is going to be attracted to us because that is the energy we have within us. That's the belief that we have, that we deserve so much more than a casual arrangement or whatever it is. So examining our expectations and our beliefs is really useful if we want to magnetise and attract to us exactly the type of life and relationships that we truly want in our lives in future. So as always, stay safe and very, very happy. Bye-bye.